We were going to play the uh, Mike Conley career salary game since we're on the uh, Utah Jazz this morning. Paulie, do you have the information for Mike Conley career salary game? Wow, this is a... Uh... Well, we played the J.J. Watt career salary game. Now, time for the Mike Conley career salary game. Here's your host, Paulie. Do you Pants. want to do Mike Conley career salary game? Oh, man. With Greg Oden mixed in? Just to throw that in there? They played together? No. I think I'll shot Greg no. Oden. No necessary. Uh, 14 seasons for Mike Conley in the league. He always averages about 14 and 7. Yeah. Very good player. He's made... He's an all-star. This year would be his first all-star game. It is. It, he did, I don't think he made it. I... I have him going O for his career as an All Star. Oh, I thought he was an. Uh, he no, made I, one All Star game. No, I th- I think I actually looked it up. I thought he was a multiple, but no. But that's what okay. makes this crazy. Okay. Number probably going to the Hall of Very Good then. He has made more money for somebody who's never made an All Star game in the history of the sport. His lowest salary of his career was his rookie year. He made three point three million. All right. This year he's making a lot more than that. Career salary for Mike Connolly, including this season. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to go. Wow. $273 million. You're high, but. Yes, I am. (laughs) Was I close, though? (laughs) I've got $208 million and counting for Mike Connolly. He's making $34 million this year. Oh, you included that in this? Yeah, because that is part of his country. So he's at 208 mil without making an all-star game. $208 million. Secondary question, has anyone ever made over $200 million in the NBA besides Mike Connolly without making an all-star appearance? We're going to look into that. Joe Johnson, I'm sure, made an all-star team. With that star but, power. But has he made $200 million? Yes, McLovin. I have an interesting article on the best players never to make an all-star game, and Conley's out high up on that list. Okay. So we got to check. There are some guys who might have gotten paid. Jason Terry... Andre Miller? <laughs> Marcus Camby? Shane Battier? Rod Strickland? Sam Perkins? Any of those guys get paid? Well, not $200 million. Yeah, Paul. Joe Johnson's made six all-star appearances. Yeah, take I, that. I must have missed those. But he hasn't made $200 million. Joe Johnson made 220 God! <laughs> Beige Camrys for days, baby. Oh, isn't that amazing? Lamar Odom's never made an all-star game. That surprised me. He's not going to either. <laughs> You're you officially calling yeah, that? I'm just wow. letting you know. I'll take her. Yeah. not. He's not going to make an all-star team. Joe Johnson made $220 million. That's right. Hey, you put up 17 and 9. You're going places. Man. All right. Yeah, McLovin. How good is Mike Conley? I, can't, I can never tell. Like, is, He's not quite a star, is he? No, he was a lottery pick. Wasn't he picked by Memphis? Yeah, he had a very nice career. Yeah, it is having. Um, but what what are his career numbers? Seventeen and eight. Does that sound about right? Seventeen points, eight assists. That's. I got him at fifteen and six. Oh, for his career, his okay. best season, he was. Uh, he averaged twenty points with Memphis a couple of years ago. Twenty and six. Did not make the all-star team. Yeah. That was that good Memphis team with Zach Randolph and the guys. Yeah. Yeah, McLovin. By the way, are you completely over the all-star snubs story? Oh, I, I, you know, I, I'm glad Devin Booker is making. Nobody wants to play in the all-star game, but they all want to be named to the all-star team. Devin Booker, great. He, he was an all-star last year. Good. You want to put him in this year? Great. With Anthony Davis not being able to play, I'm, I'm fine with this. Is there any other snub that you know, we need to be aware of. I still can't believe the Celtics, being this bad, got two All Stars with Tatum and Jalen Brown. But those are all All Star players, aren't they? But I, I think team success has to factor in a little bit here, doesn't it? How many times? I mean, check this because I don't know if a team under five hundred has ever had two All Stars. Before the Boston Celtics this year. And and what happened to the Celtics? Don't you look worse if you have two All-Stars <laughs> and you're under 500 in the East? Uh, you think that McLovin's been piling on the Utah Jazz. Wait till you hear from Nick Wright, Fox Sports 1. He'll join us coming up next. 